Green note face! Tired of all those political games where you don't get to beat someone's face in with a hammer? Good news! Body Lord has traveled back in time to Falcon Punch Crime in its depressing balls! Roll 7, the developer famous for last year's minimalist skating game hit, Oli Oli, have made a new game called Not A Hero. Inside it, you'll find a side-scroller loaded with frenetic gunfights that never overstay their welcome. There are long joy slides on the floor to be had, a simple 2D cover system for protection, and a variety of guns, grenades and bullets to add a bit of pop and spice to your killings. Different characters means different primary weapons, and a wonderful cast of British thugs. Epic leaps through windows and helicopter escapes are but part of the scenery, and the controls are tighter than a miser's ass. The music is chipper, the pace is relentless, and most impressively, pink and blue have never looked so good together. You'll love this if you liked the explosive side scrolling action in Broforce, or the ultra violent takedowns of enemy packed rooms in Hotline Miami. Our city is plagued by crime! We need a leader to tackle the issues! Someone who'll use reasonable force... ...unreasonably! And a leader that's an anthropomorphic rabbit from the future! Looking further, Not A Hero is not just a mindless kill fest. Well it is, but that's why it's not. To explain this sort of paradoxical situation, let's start with the title. You're not a hero. You're working for a corrupt politician during election season, killing hordes of people to do things as menial as turning on a billboard power switch. The justification for this is that your politician boss, Bunny Lord, has travelled back in time to save the human race. Believe this if you want, but that's a pretty blatant lie. Essentially, this is a commentary on how games so easily cast you as the hero when what you're actually doing is morally dubious. In a shooter like this, it's pretty hard to justify the mass homicide. But what effect does this actually have when you play? Well, not much. We constantly skipped the dialogue in our playtime because it was slow and we just wanted to get back to the action. We didn't feel guilty for any of our killing or worry that we were the murderous puppets of an evil bunny lord. We had an objective every level and that was our only concern. Games may at times be filled with mindless violence, but it's only as mindless as the players. As always, thanks for watching. My name's Lawrence. And my name's Josh. We'll see you next time here on Indieformer.